Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. This is day six, I think, corn harvest. We're still in the same field that was in the last two times I've made a video. But uh, I ain't gonna show much of it unless we have a breakdown, but uh, we'll talk to you in a few. Let me bring you up to date. Uh, first day was out in this field. Uh, we come over here at night. We just kind of cut cut us out a spot to park trucks. Uh, second day, we got rained out. Didn't cut much. Uh, rained some, and then Saturday, last Saturday, we come over here and uh, the moisture in the grain was down at acceptable uh, percentage but the stalks was green and the or wet they're not green and the ground was a little wet i got a truck stuff so it rained just enough here stayed to knock us out but as you can tell the sun is shining wind is blowing and uh We'll get this knocked out, hopefully, and get moved on to a different field. back four or five acres back here i don't know exactly how much it is but if nothing goes wrong we'll knock this field out and go somewhere else crawled up here to see how much more room we got 11,000 bushel bin we're about there Finally got that field finished. Uh, moving on to a little 13 acre field, trying to not try to knock it out today. Uh, and then we're going to move on to a farm I've rented at 73 acres that has some small fields and has some big fields. So I talked to Mickey, a trucker, 
He should be ready tomorrow afternoon or Thursday. So we'll talk to you in a few. Well, we got moved over here to this 13 acre cornfield. He's coming right up through there. Got a lot of morning glories out in the edge of the fields. This little corner right here, I can't, kind of hard for me to spray even when I fold up to 60 foot. I run 90 foot on the spare, but uh, I close it up to 60 foot. But anyways, we'll probably be here the rest of the night. Got old glory flapping there. I don't know if uh, we'll get this done tonight. The bin we're unloading in is about full and we'd have to change over bins and everything else. But once we get the bins full, we're going to fill the truck and save them for in the morning. This field's always been bad with sickle pod. Got some morning glories this year. But that ain't too bad of an ear. You can see that's gonna be some good corn. Uh, there's some drowned out spots in this. Uh, I planted uh, the first 32 acres. It's the 24 we just left. And it's 13 the first day of planting. It took us six days to harvest that. Got a pretty sunset. green stuff got tough on us as you seen in one of them last videos of him running it was uh slowing them down i went ahead and unloaded the truck he had full and uh i didn't put it i didn't test it but the moisture seemed pretty high on it so we've quit i was wanting to run about another hour but uh that's not going to happen so thanks for watching if you made it this far thanking god bless you uh i got some new commenters uh and i still like the comments from my old commenters wade pocket change murphy ed uh greg rhodes so i'm i'm sure i'm missing some i know i am but uh comment uh, I'm going to link my Facebook and my Gmail down in the description. 
Um, I've got a TikTok and Instagram. Same as uh, Thomas Farms 10, same as the channel. I used to put that on screen, but I'm not going to anymore and unless you want me to. But uh, So that's going to wrap it up for today, day six. And uh, no major breakdowns. We didn't get started till after lunch, waited for things to dry down. So maybe we can get started uh, pretty early in the morning. I think Craig is going to help us. Uh, me and Craig went this morning to another farmer. Anybody that's got a 1020 head, bean head, uh, the dividers are junk on them. So we went to another farmer's shop today and looked at his dividers he's made. And uh, so Craig has made one of them today. And so maybe we'll get the other made and and uh, see how they do in the beans. And speaking on beans, uh, the leaves are really falling. And I've got another guy I've used over the years that sometimes we're still in corn and we've got beans ready. I hire him to combine some beans and uh, talk to him today and he said he'd be ready to go in about a week and a half, two weeks. So we'll talk to you later.